Okay, um, today we're going to work on something that I have been trying to get parts for uh, for a long time. Um, I uh, was given a bunch of the, these skill uh, tools. I have a sawzall, a, uh, a s actual circular saw, this and even the uh, flashlight and uh, I got them but they didn't have a battery with them they did have the charger and I looked into getting batteries but normally I use Makita's and I didn't want to have to invest in a whole new set of batteries and or you know have to get a different charger <clears throat> and while there is a uh, uh, you can get these were these originally were uh, nickel cadmium, cadmium, and you can get lithium ion batteries for them. But I don't want to have to dick around with having two different types of of batteries. So I recently uh, I had this is not the original drill I had. It died. Um, I think the motor shorted or something. Uh, and I had been trying to get a battery to make an adapter for quite a long time and nobody sells you know on eBay which you know you think of all the weird things you can buy nobody sells uh, used batteries or if they did they had such terrible pictures I couldn't tell if it was the correct one or not so finally uh, someone posted a uh, auction for a drill with the battery uh, listed as unknown if it worked. I didn't care because I really just wanted this and they, I won the auction. It was like four dollars and fifty cents plus shipping which ended up being about maybe nineteen twenty dollars for the the battery and the drill and um, I've already pulled the the, uh, the batteries out of this thing and um, the other thing I did was I bought one of these this is a USB charger for a Makita battery and they're really inexpensive it's like I think it's maybe like $13 and I don't really care to charge it USB. I'm never going to use that. I don't care. It's, to me, it's a dumb idea. But what I realized was that I can put a battery on this and that this is relatively flat. Um, even if I remove this part, I should be able to attach this to... Uh, to the bottom of this and make a Makita to skill and I believe these are even Bosch because I think Bosch makes these because uh, it's 18 volts and I just got to mount this to this and um, I already taken the uh, the guts out of this I took the circuit board out um, there's two connections for the wires are pretty heavy duty and um, I haven't decided if I'm going to take this off or somehow use it to connect it to the bottom here. Um, but uh, so real quick, open this up and uh, it's a pretty simple design. Um, there's a uh, two wires coming off that went to the battery pack and then this wire here was for charging and it uh, is a temperature sensor so if the battery overheats it shuts the charger off and um, otherwise there's a lot of room in here um, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to try and mount this in here or if I wanted to attach it to the bottom. Um, and I 
this. There's only two screws that hold this together. And the circuit board was attached to the top of this, and I just desoldered it and tossed it for now. I mean, I'm gonna, I could use it. <coughs> Apparently, it'll probably work off of uh, 18 to 20 volts, and probably a lot less than that. Um, but this just fits in here. Um, oh, there's already there's some. Uh, holes here at the top that might make it easier to... So, I'm going to do some uh, thinking on this, on how I want to attach it to the bottom. So I want to do it with as little slop and, you know, epoxy as I can get away with. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> okay. So what I did is I uh, put the stuff back together and determine the places where I can drill through and the uh, battery will still slide in and lock. Now I didn't have an I, I drilled straight through here but I'm not gonna put a nut here I'm gonna put it inside or at least I'm gonna try uh, we'll find out if that will work. And this is a place that there's nothing. When the battery slides in, there's room in here. So I'm going to run basically. I lined up the two halves since these both split the same. Um, and I'm going to run uh, long bolts through here, 832s and put some nuts on them, tighten them down, and then <clears throat> the way, and then when they put them together, uh, you know, you just squeeze them together and put the screws in and, and it's all done. I don't have to use any uh, epoxy or <coughs> glue or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna work on that because it's gonna be a little fiddly and we'll come back. Okay. Uh, Alright, so the original hole I drilled up here would not work. There was just no way to get a nut on there. Um, that hole won't hurt anything. What I did was I ended up, uh, because of these posts here, put a screw here and a screw here. Had to cut open to allow wires to come through. Uh, and these are uh, 632, not 832 screws. Um, <clears throat> So I did the same thing. The nice thing is this piece comes out so you can get a screwdriver in here and tighten those down properly. Um, so um, now I'm just going to get it all together. Um, I did put a little bit of a fudge factor uh, in here because it's very difficult to get this stuff all to line up perfectly. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, so it's back together. Um, it's on pretty sturdy. There's, I didn't use any glue. Uh, some things you need to know about these skill batteries. Um, when you take them apart, be very careful getting this screw out. It's a Torx, um, but it also has a flat head. Um, when you remove this screw, it's important that you be able to put it back in without stripping or breaking it because for this to work right, this has to be as tight as you can get it. 
um, there's very close tolerance on these and it just uh, doesn't fit on the it's hard to take on and off if, uh, if you don't get this screw in tight so anyways um, let's see if this works It works, um, and it only took me about an hour and a half. Uh, probably, if I did this again, it would be a lot quicker um, because I can, because uh, I know where to put the screws now, uh, so it wouldn't fiddle fart with that. Um, and it'll even stand up. Huh. So, oh yeah, so now I can use the sawzall, the. Uh, everything with my Makita batteries and I don't have to buy a bunch of boss crap or skill. I think that's it for today. Later.